Hi everyone. <clears throat> I wanted to kind of walk through the uh, steps of doing the assignment for week one in the course. So uh, I've gone to the course <clears throat> to week one assignment and if you uh, click on this link here to download the worksheet it appears here and I'm going to open it and um, you're going to put answers on this worksheet and then uh, submit it. And uh, the first thing to do is to click this enable editing button up here and uh, the next thing to do is to save it <coughs> with a new name that includes your name. So uh, you would do that by clicking on the file and then on save as and you're going to navigate to the folder where you want to save it. Um, I'm assuming you have a folder for the CI 2000 course and you'll you'll give it the name just type in here add your name to the file name and then click save and um, so that would um, rename the sheet and then as you scroll down a little bit you see some um, some items here if you mouse over them there's a pop-up that says control click to follow the link so that means you hold down the control key and the, the cursor turns into a, a pointer hand that you can click on and go to that link so the first one is an article to read and then um, there are two videos one about navigating windows and one about working with files and then the next one is going to go to the uh, tech terms quiz. So I'm going to I'm going to go there, and that's going to take me into my browser. And uh, this is the Quizlet website. And so there's a, a section here on computer software terminology, and you're going to click on learn, and that is going to take you through some um, flashcards or questions and uh, teach you some computer terminology that you might not have heard. And after you've gone through the learn, then you want to go over to test and click on test. And that will bring up a test and uh, you answer those questions. And I've done that already. And so here's my test. And um, I, I didn't get a perfect score, but I got a high enough score to pass it. So uh, you're going to need to take a, a screen grab or screen capture of this window showing your score. So if you click on the Windows icon down here in the uh, taskbar, you're going to see a list of um, software on your computer. And if you scroll down here to Windows and click on the Accessories pull down, you're going to find the one that, that you use to take a um, capture of the screen. It's called the Snipping Tool. Now I've already put that into my taskbar down here, so I'm going to click on the Snipping Tool. It opens this little dialog box and you have to select what type of snip you want to do, a window or a full screen or rectangular. So I'm going to do rectangular, so I'll click on that. And now my cursor changes into a plus, and I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to click and drag the uh, part of this that I want to make a screenshot out of. And so now I have the screenshot. And what I have to do is save it. So I'm going to click on File and do Save As. And what that will do is take me to the File Manager. And so I give it a name and uh, navigate to where I want to save it. And uh, since I've already done this, I'm not going to I'm not going to save it again. Uh, so I'll just uh, I'll cancel that. And then uh, we'll close the uh, the capture screen here. And uh, just to remind me, I didn't save it. And so that takes us back to the web browser here, where we had the um, had the test. But now we need to go back to the uh, Word document. <clears throat> and uh, when you scroll down further, um, you've taken the screen capture, and uh, now you want to insert it. So um, here in item F, you have a placeholder. If you mouse over that, it says click here to insert a picture. And so you click there, you're going to get this dialog box that asks you, where do you want to get the picture? Is it from a file? Is it from online pictures or from icons? And in your case, it's going to be from a file. It's that file you just saved. So this is going to open the file manager and you navigate to, um, to where you had that file. And you select it and then click insert. And it's going to put that file um, the picture file in the box here. So you've completed that step. <clears throat>
but you're not, <coughs> excuse me, quite finished because now you have to answer some questions. So scroll down here and there's a text box here where you can type your answer. And um, there's a question three and then there's a question four, five, and six here, or actually four, A, B, and C under further reflections. And again, when you click in here, you have a text box where you can type your answer. Um, you want to write two to three sentences and you want to uh, make sure you check those for um, spelling and grammar. Um, now, uh, there's uh, spelling and grammar checking in Word. However, the grammar checking is not ideal. And uh, there is a much better grammar checking at Grammarly.com. And this link here will take you uh, to that site where you can install it. However, it still doesn't work in this worksheet because the worksheet is locked. So if I go up here and try to open Grammarly, I get this error message that it, it can't work. So that's unfortunate. So you won't be able to use it on this assignment, uh, with the exception that if you um, copied the text here, um, do right click and copy, and then paste it into a Word document, a new Word document of your own, uh, then Grammarly would work in that if you've installed Grammarly. So you could check it there and then paste it back uh, to replace the text in here if you had to make some changes. But anyway, we're trying to uh, uh, emphasize writing in uh, acceptable um, academic proper English. Uh, and um, so that's a part of this assignment. So you're going to save after you've answered all these. You're going to just do another save and click on the, the, um, the, the quick access toolbar and do save. Or you can click on file and do save. And um, then you're going to upload that. In, in the uh, for the assignment in the course. And so um, I will look forward to getting your assignments. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me or Academic Services.